Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy One Technique, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use the MPC uh, 2 Plus software, same 2 Plus because anything above 2.0, um, using that as the main DAW to uh, control like machine and stuff on individual MIDI tracks. So I was having a problem online. I couldn't find anybody with this video that can really break it down to how to use machine and separate every single sound from the group and kind of record it individually into the 2.0 software or into MPC X or MPC Live. So I figured it out. I just wanted to throw together a quick video editing. There's not gonna be any editing, nothing special about this video. I'm gonna get right back into it. So right here, track one, we got track one selected. We got the plugin selected. It's gonna be machine and it's on mini ch MIDI channel one. That's controlling this first bass. You see me hitting this bass? So if I wanna record that. So that's recorded in there. Now I wanna add my next sound. So what I'm going to do is go to channel two and we got the bell. See how we got it on MIDI, MIDI channel two, track two, MIDI channel two, same machine software that's up. So we hit. So it's showing right there that it's working perfect, right? So in order for me to make this thing happen and for it to communicate perfect with the MPC software, what you have to do is select your first one and you're gonna go over here to this one. You're gonna go to input. It's gonna be, when you select input for your first sound, it's gonna always be on uh, default. You need to select it to host and before it was like on all you selected the channel one because you're going to do midi channel one the through was selected on you got to unselect it so this is the setting that you need for your first for your first sound for your first midi channel on the 2.0 software so it's host channel one and take off through because you're not going to you're not going to put anything back into the machine software you're using the mpc as the main dog so that's how you do that and when you go for your second sound look watch how it changes now it's host, now it's channel two, and through. That's how you do it so you're able to go over here and select your different MIDI, MIDI um, oh shoot, hit the wrong button. So you're able to select your different MIDI channels. You know what I mean? And this way, you know, you'll, you'll go on and on, you know, to make, make more sounds or whatever. So like, let's say, if you wanted this sound on the, on the, oh, whoops, I got it on a different one now, but before I had it on the bell, so let me put it back on the bell. Okay, it's gonna load up the bell. Okay, so the bell was there. So I'm gonna select the third sound now. Let's just say it's this pad sound, right? So it's there. Automatically by default, it's gonna always put it as those other settings like I said. So what you gotta do, let me see. Okay, so you select that, go over here input see how it's on default you got to change that host midi channel three we're going to take off the roof so now when i go back here and i select the third one third track now i'm going to go to midi channel three now if i did everything right it should be playing these pads now so you don't hear any of the other sounds. So if you want to add to the other sounds. Now 
that's basically what you do. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I just had to put it up. Um, like I said, I didn't see any video about it. I didn't see anything that, that, that can help you out with this situation. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'm going to have more stuff like this coming up, man. Hopefully, I'll have time to edit these videos to make it look better. All right, man. Peace.